What's up everyone? This is 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here with my guest star. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Who are you, good sir? Who am I? That's a good question. Who am I? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you who. He is Serrano Reyes J from another planet. No, I'm just kidding. But the two of us are both here to review Jupiter Ascending. So Jupiter Ascending is from the Wachowskis. Jupiter Ascending is kind of a hard plot to describe you guys, so I'm going to try my best to describe this one. Mila Kunis, she lives the normal family life. Her life basically sucks. She cleans toilets at other strangers' homes. She's pretty much a housekeeper. Yeah, she's a housekeeper pretty much. She barely finds out that by one of the helpers is actually helping her survive and they actually tell her that she's actually a queen of all, and she's a princess of all queens of, of the planet of Earth. And they're trying to help her to survive so she can actually become the queen of that planet so she can be ruled of that whole entire planet so mm -hmm. it doesn't get destroyed or, and the human race don't go extinct by, you know, these other families are trying to take over it and they try to offer you know certain deals that she can actually uh, like accept from them for the planet but she's still denying like denying their offers because you know it's her home planet and she that's where she'd been born and raised going into jupiter ascending even though i think the wachowskis are really great directors you know i thought the matrix is awesome i think it's one of the best action movies ever made in my opinion speed racer i actually really enjoyed that movie i thought that was really cool v for vendetta was cool too the wachowskis didn't direct that movie they only wrote it but i thought that was a really good movie and cloud atlas which i actually thought was one of the best movies of 2012. even with all of those really good films that they made I wasn't really all that interested in Jupiter Ascending. The movie just didn't really pique my interest. With all of that being said, I gotta say that Jupiter Ascending was just an okay movie in my opinion. It really is not the Wachowski's best work. They can make better movies than Jupiter Ascending, but what was your honest opinion on this movie, Sorry, Jay? I think it was good, but not the best. You know, I consider it good. The good things I have to say first of all, one thing the Wachowskis never disappoint with are the visual effects. Even when this movie lost me, which is a lot of the movie, honestly, but the visual effects were the one thing in the movie that kept my attention throughout. Every time there was an action piece going on, I just could not get my mind off of how amazing the visual effects were. I actually thought Channing Tatum had the most interesting character, as well as being the most developed character in the entire movie. I thought he did a really good job with his role. It was really cool when he's in those hover shoes. Uh -huh. Like the way he was in those hover shoes, I thought that was really badass. And it was a creative touch for the Wachowskis to try out. So obviously the Wachowskis did have some originality into this movie in which I did appreciate. For my good thoughts about it, like, you know, some of the action parts are really good. I wasn't disappointing to my point of view. And I enjoy like all the actors except one. There was one my fault, but uh, I'll get to that one a little bit later. But it's really good from the beginning to the end. Because the storyline and something like what they did is something a little bit, they kept original. Some of it original, others like something a little bit, they wanted to add a little bit fresh into it. At yeah. the same time, so it's like something new and new and original at the same time, good like for them to do. Yeah, that's true. And then, like, yeah, what Tamara's Jews point out, the action sequences, they really are very good. And my favorite action sequence in this entire movie is actually this action sequence that takes place in Chicago at the nighttime. That whole entire action sequence, it's like about 30 minutes into the movie, but I was all like, just... <laughs> no, I'm not Money blowing. <clears throat> when it comes to the action, this movie did blow me away. But when it came to the storyline and... Uh, yeah, not so much. But I actually did think this was a really good movie for the first 45 minutes. And then once Mila Kunis and Channing Tatum go up into space, that's when the movie flossed to me. It's good to see Sean Bean in the movie again because it has been a while. He's basically just Sean Bean, but he still does a good job. And I would even go on my way and say in all honesty that this is a well-directed movie. There's a lot of really cool wide shots in this movie. The way it's filmed is very impressive. Most of it's going back to Earth, but otherwise, other uh, it's heading to other planets. 
Yeah. But it's like dealing going to other planet planets that looks different than from what it looks like or what I guess you could say a king or queen whoever is ruling the planet yeah. showing you how they they have rules over the planet. Yeah. And showing you like what how they I guess manage to be I guess like the proper they're showing you the proper way how to be become a king or queen or actually both of the planet. They're showing you how they felt about their own planet or feeling like they, they want to rule over to another planet. What did you think of like Chime Tatum and Mila Kunis in this movie? They did like a best part for like their like for their part because they you know they actually look, it looked like they I guess you can I guess they felt the character. Yeah. They're not the ones like, oh, I'm going to just give it a try now. They actually seem like they're trying to feel, feel the characters, how they felt. Then in terms of my negatives, I do have to say, like I said, the movie just lost me after the first 45 minutes. And the movie has some of the cheesiest dialogue ever. I, I am talking about there are times where I felt like I was watching Twilight because some of the dialogue just felt so sappy and just so incredibly cheesy and then you have the unnecessary love story and which this could have been a cool movie but the movie's more focused on a love story that isn't necessary and it's so obvious rather than actually t uh, exploring more into space the planets the alien creatures the alien creatures I thought they were cool when they were there I'm like wow those are some really neat character designs I don't know what the Wachowskis were thinking all honestly because like I said they could come up with something better than this and I could see there was effort here but the love story that was so obvious didn't work for me I didn't find it believable once I just found myself going oh my god because the love story just isn't necessary it, oh oh well, man. I think the reason they put the little love story because you know for I guess for the women and ladies out there I understand that, there, but there are some movies where it's all like, okay, that's a needed love story, but there are some movies where like, no, no, you don't have to go at this territory. As for Mila Kunis, she was decent here. She does try her best. She definitely tries. But the problem with Mila Kunis is that the script gives her such a weak female character. I was rooting more for the guy in the hover shoes with the wolf ears, mm. Channing Tatum, more than the girl who just scrubs toilets her whole life. So, this felt like the character didn't have anything to do here. It, it felt like she's only there just so Channing Tatum could just save her every 10 minutes and that's really it. The character just felt pointless. I never really got behind all that much to the character. That's not to say I hated her, but it's just all like, oh man, I wish this character was more stronger so I could actually get more behind her when I felt more invested when it came to Chani Tame's character, but just not so much her. For my negative, like what he, uh, my buddy here said, like, you know, they should have done more with her. I guess you can say more of a little bit of a warrior, like a certain way. Yeah. Instead yeah. of like uh, being, being the one who has to be saved all the time. They should have her being like a little bit worried, like trying to save at least, like save them here and there, like on certain parts, and like. Yeah, because you would think she would kick some ass in the movie, like what Channing Tatum does, yeah. but she doesn't really. Yeah, and they should have at least have her like you know get that instinct just to pick up like the new technology they have, like the the hover boots and like some of the other equipments they're giving her. <clears throat> they should at least. Haven't made her like, oh, okay, I already, now I know what to pick up on this. And you're like, oh, I can, like, it'll take her, like, almost, like, what, 30 or 40 minutes or maybe close to an hour just to figure out how to use it. So, RSJ, we have to talk about, I am Eddie Redmayne, the um, guy with an over-the-top yeah. soft voice. Like, this is me and Jupiter Ascending, the one who won the Academy Award for the theory of everything. <laughs> oh my goodness, that part is... I thought he was terrible. Oh my god, um, he tries at least, but, uh, his his what the hell kind of voice was he trying to do? And not just that, but just his overall performance. He's so stiff. He looks so awkward. Like, for my negative, I think, not my negative, but good about 
like his part doing a little bit stiff because like it, it went perfect for this character him yeah, being a little bit stiff you know trying not to show his hesitation yeah like being scared of the uh that he's gonna lose like his spot being the king yeah but at the same time like it's a, like I don't know what he was thinking or whoever made, made him want to do the voice. It just made it so awful. <laughs> That's what made it so awful. It's just the way they had him talking. Like, they should have had him like, talk it like a normal person or at yeah. least like something like an evil prince might, might talk, try and talk. Not, yeah. Not like a soft voice, deep talk. Like, it makes it like you want to go to sleep. <laughs> For me, it was just the talking, but I. The re part of his performance was good, but not fully. Yeah, I get what you mean. Overall, Jupiter Ascending, it's not a terrible movie. It's basically half and half in all honesty. There's half good, half bad, all together making one, eh, middle down the road okay movie. So it's not terrible. Two out of four stars. Overall, I'll give it a three out of five. Comment down below and let me know what did you think of the movie Jupiter Ascending? Did you like it like this dude did? Did you find it okay like I did? Or did you maybe flat out hate the movie like it was just absolute garbage? Also everyone, I also got to join Mark Krojic to talk about Kingsman and Secret Service and Jupiter Ascending. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you already just want to skip ahead to the Jupiter Ascending discussion, just go to that time link right there. But keep in mind that it is spoilers. So thank you for joining me, Sarari You're Jay. welcome. And you guys, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will- bacon. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I got bacon power. <laughs> we will always have tiger, tiger power. power.